welcome to another tech video. Um, today we're going to be having a look at a Draytech router. So um, this is quite an old one, it's only an ADSL router, but we're going to be repurposing it um, to provide security for one of our customers. So we're going to be disabling the Wi-Fi on it because it's only uh, wireless N and WPA2. And we are going to be disabling the DSL interface because it's only ADSL2. So this was £17 from eBay, packaging's not too bad, you can see it's been used before. Okay, so this is the 2830 ADSL 2 plus security firewall, so this is not VDSL, however, uh, we will double check that. Let's have a look on the back to see what it can do. Okay, so it's ADSL 2, which is absolutely fine because actually we're not going to be using the dial up on here, this is just going to be used as a router. Okay, let's have a look at the condition of it. So the Aerials are okay, they just need tightening up by the look of it. Okay, this one here, no, that is just turning, but it's stiff enough to hold it in place. Okay, still got the plastic on the front, still got the plastic on the top. Slight yellowing colour on there that obviously says it has been used. Inside the box, okay, we've got the original um, product catalogue and post-it notes. Always handy to have post-it notes. We've got some the mounting screws, so this looks like it's a, a complete kit. And then in here, we've just got the bag that the box came in. We've got a LAN cable. All looks good and then we've got our power adapter so all in all doesn't look too bad so we won't be using the DSL interface on here as I mentioned we're just going to be using it as the router so because this is um, uh, ADSL 2 only it's not VDSL we couldn't uh, use it with the modern fiber dial-up um, but we're just going to be using it as the router so we're going to be using the WAN 2 gigabit Ethernet port Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is when we get a new router is we always give it a factory reset. So uh, we've got our plug plugged in. We're going to pop our power lead into it and then we're going to switch it on. And once it's booted up, we're going to give it a factory reset. So all we're doing at the moment is waiting for um, the lights to stabilise that tells us that the device is all up and running. It only takes a minute or so. Okay, so that looks like it's up and running. We've got an activity light just blinking slowly. Let's have a look on phone to see if we can see any Wi-Fi networks. As we can see, we've got a Draytech Wi-Fi network here. So this already suggests that it's already had a factory reset, but we're going to, just for peace of mind, give it a factory reset anyway. And the way we do that is you take a, a, a pokey tool, as I like to call it, and that goes into the factory reset hole there. There's a little switch in there that you press down and hold and you should see the activity light blink rapidly. And then um, you, should, you, you know then that you're in factory reset mode. So let's press and hold that and wait to see our activity light flash repeatedly quickly. Normally about three seconds, there we go. And then you can release the pin. You should see all the other lights come on so we can see USB, CSM and DSL light all on. There we go. And then all of the lights will flash as that undergoes its reset. There we go. DSL lights flashing. Wireless LAN light is on. Okay, so this is now good to connect to our network. So what we want to do first of all is we want to um, 
plug-in uh, interface, you can either choose the DSL or WAN2. Um, we're going to be using the WAN2 interface, so we're going to plug our network, uh, network cable in there. Okay, so that's that bit done. All right, so we've got our WAN interface connected. The next thing we do is we connect our LAN interface to, um, we've connected it to our laptop and we're using a USB type C adapter that you can see here with our network connection coming in. This um, video out is for uh, the recording that we're doing. So let's, uh, let's now get logged on. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go off and just check to see what the IP address is of the router. So we want to open a command prompt. We want to run IP config and we're going to be looking for the, our um, LAN IP address here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off my Wi-Fi. Okay, so we've got our We've got our connection here, 192.168.1.10, and this is our gateway, 192.168.1.1. So we now want to connect to the Draytech. So we're going to open up a web browser, navigate to 192.168.1.1. And not sure what the details are, but we're going to go in and see if admin admin works which it does, so that's fine. Okay, so this is quite an old, uh, an old version of the interface. So what I want to do, first of all, is configure our WAN connection. So we're going to go to WAN, and then let's have a look, general setup. Okay, so we've got WAN2, Ethernet, auto negotiation, always on which is which is fine so let's go in and have a look at that enable is on auto negotiation is on but it is saying that we don't have a connection let's go into internet access okay so we've got access mode WAN2 is set to none so we're going to go static or dynamic IP address this one we're going to say none on the ADSL connection. And then we're going to go into details page. We are going to go into static or, or dynamic. We're going to set this to an enable. Um, everything else is correct. We want to set our obtain an IP address automatically at the moment um, while we're testing. And then we're going to say OK to that and then it wants to reboot, so we're going to go OK to reboot. OK, let's now see if we can get logged back in. So we're going to go back in with admin and admin. And then we can see that our WAN2 is now connected. It's got a DHCP address from our other router. Um, this is obviously going to be doing double NAT, so it's not ideal, but uh, for testing purposes and for setup purposes, it's absolutely fine. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and have a look at our LAN settings. And as you can see, we already know it's DHCP. So let's go into our details page. We've got our DHCP server enabled, so we don't need to check, change anything on there. OK, because it's the N version, it is single band. In other words, just 2.4 gigahertz. So we're going to go into single band. So the latest is 3.8.8.3 SB. 3.8.3. OK, so we do have some firmware we can add. So now we can go, we want the .all file. We're going to select our firmware. Downloads, and we're going to select the all. If you uh, if you select the .rst, it uh, factory resets your device. So we're going to select the all. We're going to click on open, and then we're going to click on upgrade.
Okay, once your firmware is updated, um, you can click on restart. Once that's rebooted, we should be able to log back in again using admin admin. That's better. And then we can go down to our system maintenance. We can check our firmware version. Actually, we can check our firmware version here. Um, so that's all upgraded successfully. Uh, all the settings are still the same. So that's right. The next thing we're going to do is um, because this is only going to be used for um, routing, uh, it's going to be doing no Wi Fi because it's going to be access points. We want to disable the wireless LAN on the device. So you just untick the box, hit OK. That will then shut the Wi Fi off, and you should see the WLAN button on the front go off as well. So if we have a look at that, now the, uh, the, the WLAN button is now, or the WLAN light is now off. I can't really see it there, but it's off. So after we've disabled the wireless LAN, which we've done here, we're going to go up and we're going to go into our firewall settings. We're going to go just to check that, make sure that they're both enabled, which they are. Um, we don't gonna, we're not going to be using a filter setup. We're going to go to DOS Defense and we're going to enable DOS Defense and we're going to make sure that everything is enabled on there to give it a bit of extra protection. Going to OK that. And then if we go down to our VPN settings to configure uh, a VPN for dialing onto the network, we would use, we would come into a remote access control. Um, we would leave PPTP and SSL enable, but deselect the other two there. And then um, I'm not going to OK that. As I'm, I'll, I will set this later. Then we want to come to our remote dial-in user and we would hit our user number one, index one. We would say enable this account, give it a username over here, give it a password and then uh, deselect the, uh, the types of VPN. So we would only allow PPTP and SSL VPN. Um, and we would say uh, we're going to use, we're going to drop it onto LAN 1, but if you've got other LANs configured, you can drop it onto any one of those um, and it will pick up its DHCP lease from the, uh, from the LAN 1 settings. I'm going to click on cancel for that. Next thing you want to do is to make sure that you change your admin password. So if we go into uh, our admin settings, we can see here that currently um, we would need to put our admin in here and then give it your new password in there and then um, OK that and that would then set your admin password. We're going to leave ours as admin at the moment. That's the last thing we're going to be doing uh, when we're on customer site. But that's all there is to it. So if you found that video useful and how you can repurpose an old router. So this one was £17 from eBay. And it's going to do the job perfectly well for one of our one of our customers, giving them secure uh, or a secure firewall on their internet connection. Um, if you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.